Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum In this video we shall learn how to find the logarithm of a complex number Let us derive the basic formula which we shall use to find the logarithm of a complex number We know that a complex number z in the cartesian form is written by x plus iota y and in the polar form this can be written as r into cos theta plus iota sin theta and in the exponential form it is equal to r e power iota theta now here r is the absolute value which is equal to x square plus y square under the root and theta is the argument which is equal to tangent inverse of y by x from this we take the exponential form only so let us write z is equal to r e power iota theta throughout this lecture by log we mean natural log log z to the base e which can be written as ln z so let us take log on both sides so we obtain ln z which is equal to ln r e power iota theta now here we use a basic rule of logarithm that log m cross n is equal to log m plus log n according to this rule we write it as ln z is equal to ln r plus ln e power iota theta and now there is another basic rule log m power n this is equal to n log n so according to this rule we write ln z is equal to ln r plus iota theta n to ln e now we know that the value of log e is equal to 1 so we get ln z is equal to ln r plus iota theta so this is the basic formula which we shall use to find the logarithm of a complex number this can be written as ln z which is equal to ln r we are just putting the value of r which is x square plus y square whole power 1 over 2 plus iota theta is the argument so we can write tangent inverse y by x and now from this we can write ln z is equal to 1 over 2 ln of x square plus y square plus iota tangent inverse y by x log z is equal to log r plus iota theta this is called the principal logarithm sometime called the particular logarithm now if theta is the angle here in the first quadrant then after a rotation of 2 pi we get theta plus 2 pi and you can see we get the same angle in the same quadrant if we make another rotation of 2 pi then we have theta plus 4 pi and you can see again we come to the same place in the same quadrant another word 2 pi is the period of sine and cos 
So sine theta plus two pi is equal to sine theta. Similarly, cos theta plus two pi is equal to cos theta. And any multiple of two pi is a period of sine and cos. So instead of theta here, if we write theta plus two n pi, then we get that z is equal to r e power iota into theta plus two n pi. And now if we use the same procedure, we get this formula. And this is called the general logarithm for a complex number. So if in a question someone said to find the logarithm of the following complex number, we shall use this formula. If someone said to find the particular logarithm or the principal logarithm, we shall use this formula. To solve this example, let us find the principal logarithm of z is equal to one plus iota. The basic formula for the principal logarithm is given by ln r plus iota theta. Let us say this is one. For this now we need the value of r, which is given by this formula. So let us substitute the value of x and y. x is one, y is also one. So we can write one square plus one square under the root. From this we get under the root two. In the next step, let us find the value of theta, which is the argument given by this formula. So let us substitute the values of x and y, which is one, by one. So from this we get tangent inverse one and tangent inverse one is equal to pi by four, which is an angle of 45. Substituting these values in one, we get that log of the value of z is now one plus iota. Log of one plus iota is equal to log of under root two plus iota pi by four. And that is the required solution. In the next step, now let us find the general logarithm of this number. So the formula for the general logarithm is given by ln r plus iota and now with theta, we have two n pi, n is any integer. Just substitute values in this formula, we get the required solution. So this is the general logarithm of the given complex number. Now let us use the same procedure to find the principal logarithm of this complex number and the general logarithm of this complex number. Again, for the principal logarithm, log of z is equal to log of r plus iota theta. And let us say this is one. And here to find the value of r, we shall write r is equal to x square, which means one square, plus y square, which means under root three square. And from this we get one plus three under the root, which is four under the root. And from this we get two. To find the angle theta, we write, tangent inverse of y by x, which is equal to tangent inverse of under root three divided by one. And this is a special angle. We know that its, its solution is pi by three. So using these values in one, we get 
the value of the principal logarithm ln2 plus iota theta is pi by 3. So that is the solution. To find the general logarithm, we use this formula log z is equal to log r plus iota. The difference is very small. We just a 2 and pi with theta. And now using our values, we have log 2 plus iota. And we know theta is pi by 3. So here I am writing pi by 3 plus 2 and pi. And that is the required general logarithm of the given number. 